What inspires me the most is when I get considered as uh, the underdog or when people don't think I can make it. What inspires me is to prove them wrong and to show them what I can be and how fast and how strong I am. Now we are at the 15th day of training camp, so I started feeling tired and I wish I could sleep more, but I can sleep well, so that's pretty good. And now we are heading to breakfast and hopefully there will be something nice <laughs> to give a kickstart to the day. our bungalow for the training camp, our home for uh, 19 days and now we just finished breakfast and we get ready for the day, the swim. I, I like to keep the same water and the same properties of the water every day and so I filter my water <laughs> everywhere I go. This morning we will have an easy swim. I plan to do a bit of gym, then we ride and we finish the day with a, with a run. Hopefully it will be a nice sunset to run with. So we have a 5k swim today and this is normally the mileage that we do every training and especially in this moment of the year where the volume is the key and in this training camp we are swimming uh, five days uh, on seven and uh, but normally we do up to six swims a week for uh, 25 27 kilometers per week swim and because of my probably my background I come from swim synchronized so it's just to get in my element every time I really enjoy just feeling the water I don't do specifically workout thinking about uh, the pace or the effort I I just know what's the focus of the day so if it's just an easy day I like to feel the water and I rather focus on my breathing, on how the water feels on my body and that's what helps me the most during the race because I'm pretty tiny so I can't um, start a race attacking because I know that I don't have the, that speed and that power enough to stay ahead of everybody so I rather uh, start at my own pace and then because of my ability of uh, feeling the water I understand where I can draft and where I can pass I feel the waves and I have a great perception of my body in the water and that helps me a lot and because of uh, my past life as a swim synchronous I had to swim without goggles and when you don't have goggles you just see shades or um, not really clear images of what you have around and still you have to understand where you are. Because of my 
one of my weaknesses is a really uh, unstable ankle. So we work with an unstable um, platform to uh, get used to some quick changes of uh, inclination. So because of both my ankles are really weak, I need to work on them maybe just 10 minutes every day, but it's useful to keep them strong. We are now having lunch at 11.16, so it's more than a one hour earlier than normal people. We rather have a good lunch, so I mean some energy before the workout and uh, we are having just simple carbs with maybe some eggs after so we can um, make the energy last longer because otherwise just pasta will be putting sugar inside your body and that's not enough for us simple but effective so yeah, buon appetito <laughs> Yes, I, I mean, that's my life. I think that if one day I should wake up and somebody would tell me, that's it, you can't do, uh, be an athlete or you can't do sport anymore, I would be pretty lost. I know that's a weird life, it's a um, weird way of living because we are isolated from the rest of the world. We have this kind of lunch, but I love this and I love Uh, this life and I'm lucky to share this life with him and it is easier mm. with me <laughs> <laughs> yes he's from Naples so? for people that doesn't know Naples is the um, kingdom of good food yeah, pizza pizza. <laughs> pizza and he can make the pizza but yes he's, he's a good chef and he really likes to take care of me and he likes to Um, experiments um, so if the we have just few ingredients in the fridge he can make something really good so he's pretty talented with the um, food and with the kitchen but yes today is just white pasta so we are heading now to the bike session and uh, this is one of the most important training uh, of the day and we are here to do more volume on the bike so we are now training around uh, 450 460 kilometers per week so we are over 14 hours a week of um, training on the bike we normally stay around 12 13 hours per week and the rest is on the run on the bike and on the gym Today will be some hills, we will do some sprints. I normally use the power as um, uh, tools to see if I'm uh, riding easy or if I'm riding steady, if I'm riding uh, on the threshold race pace. I don't use generally the heart rate because uh, it really depends on how tired I am and how I feel that day because sometimes you're just too tired and your heart rate doesn't rise at all. It's a good um, tool sometimes to compare with your watts but that's the only tool I use so I ride with watts and I don't even pay attention on the speed. The only thing that important on the speed is during the race. Just finish a bit training on the tubo using my tax and my all gaming tools, especially the pedals rally and the heart rate monitor is my most important partners uh, since 2020 when the pandemic went and it was my only chance to monitoring how my training was going. I don't look too closely to heart rate 
during the training itself but at the end of it I make sure I put the effort in and when there are some easy days I make sure that it stays low and give the chance to my body to recover actually. So today we are at the Barati Golf that is a pretty amazing uh, place to running. I love to run on the sand on uh, easy runs and because I have the opportunity here to do it I want to make it the most out of it. So today I will do some easy jog on the beach and then some strides with my boyfriend that he will join us uh, for the last minutes of the run. So with these sessions I'm expecting to put a solid base and a solid volume for what will come next. So I like to keep the nice run nice and easy because when I try to push myself it's just to free my legs, free the breathing and when you feel your heart rate that is pumping on your head. That's, I know it might seem crazy but it's just an amazing feeling when you're out of breathing and you feel your heart on your throat it's a weird way of feeling pleasure but it's for sure pleasure Ilaria as athlete is a, a very focused and determined athlete and she, she tries to do the best every day uh, to become a good person and a good, uh, and good athlete. She, she is very, very stronger in life. At, I don't say uh, this because she is my girlfriend, but she is my girlfriend because I think this. I love triathlon in Super League because it's um, once uh, it started, you just forget everything uh, you know about triathlon and you just try to hang on and try to hold the pace of the first stand until you see the flag that you're eliminated or until you see the finish line, you will never uh, stop and you never think to slow down and that's amazing for someone that loves hard racing this is amazing super league triathlon is different from other races format not only because we have different kind of triathlon because we have enduro we have triple mix or uh, time trial races um, something they make really different super league triathlon from the others is the crowd uh, when you're racing surrounded by locals, they are cheering at you, they are screaming at you. They almost, I think they are enjoying how much we are suffering during the race. But it's something that gives you goosebumps for the whole time of the race and you kind of forgive how hard you're going and how much you're suffering. I decided to choose this life because I couldn't imagine myself without sport and I know that it may sound crazy but to me having a day like this is just what is normality and normal life for me and I wouldn't imagine for now myself waking up and going to an, an office and doing a 8 to 8 job, I, I rather do this kind of life that is pretty unique.